Two of the strongest SEO keyword tools on the market to help Amazon sellers like you are Helium 10 and Jungle Scout. But what are the differences? Which one's better? My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy, and I'm here to tell you that I currently prefer Helium 10. And I actually am going to point out the biggest discrepancy that I think is super important. So inside of Cerebro, this is the most powerful tool on keywords bar none. So take one of my listings like my soap right here. Okay, so it's a great listing, 760 reviews. We've optimized everything. I've made hundreds of thousands of dollars selling soap, maybe even close to a million dollars at this point. Over in Cerebro, if I load this up in less than five seconds, I can understand the key metrics of this listing. I can understand that there are 4,500 keywords in the distribution, 4,000 keywords are indexed organically, and 1,600 are paid. That means I spend money on 1,600 of these keywords. I have a ratio that I like to hit on most of my listings, which is close to a one paid to two organic. Now this keyword distribution right here is at the top of Cerebro. I don't have to click any additional buttons. I don't have to go fetch it. I don't have to go search anywhere. It's just present automatically. Additionally, when I click on the show trend icon, the historical trend right here, it gives me this history backdated. So if I wanna see if I was overspending on ads or underspending on ads month to month historically, I can do that. For example, in January, I was, I was advertising on 6,100 versus 6,400 keywords organically indexed. It was a one-to-one -one ratio in January. And, and so I can see like that discrepancy. So I know maybe next January I need to spend something similar if I like the results or change my behavior. One of the craziest things that I think Amazon sellers deal with is that there's a thousand things you can go and do any given moment in time. But there's only two or three things that you can do in a day or that you should do in a day. This is one of them. This is so important to understand your indexing ratio, your keyword distribution, and this tool is the only one on the market that does it like this, the only one. Now, what Jungle Scout does do is everything else on this page, which is it shows us the search volumes, they have their own ranking system and, and all of the other filters that you would expect in a typical product research or keyword tool. Now, I am gonna do something that I might get a little heat for. Um, I actually met with Jungle Scout and I asked them, hey, can you show me where I can find the Cerebro tool inside of Jungle Scout? So take a listen to this as they explain how Jungle Scout works. And unfortunately, spoiler, it doesn't do it. Keywords, but it doesn't break it down uh, like how many you rank for organic versus sponsored. It'll have the uh, scores here. So, I mean, there'd be a way I'm sure we could count this, but right now out of the box, it doesn't give like the rolled up score of how many keywords are organic versus sponsored. Why not? Why haven't they built that? It's like the number one feature. Let me see if uh, we go over to Rank Tracker. Didn't have an answer to that, did he? Uh, I'm recording this right now. You can send this clip over to your team. You can send it to the CEO, whatever. But like like this tool inside of Cerebro to tell me that this one ASIN has 4,000 keywords indexed and 2,000 paid is really important really important. so and by the way i'm not sure they sent it to any leader at jungle scout why why doesn't jungle scout have that no answer because <laughs> it's so easy and so obvious so it's not going to have the uh yeah it's not going to have the rolled up Right, so I'll, I'll show like you what Mike, I'm looking for way. just to make sure you guys... I, I want to be very clear. Mike did a really good job. He's under pressure here. I'm violating his trust by showing this, but I am doing this for their own good, right? Like I am doing this to help Jungle Scout, right? Like Because there's no other way they're, they're, they're going to see this unless I lambast it out there on YouTube. And the customers of Jungle Scout need this. They do. They're clear on it, right? So take this random makeup product. Okay, so if I go on this listing, let's say I'm doing a live demo with somebody I want to hire Mag right now. All I have to do is click this keyword button, it loads over, and then it tells me how many keywords are indexed, right? 
4,700 organic, 2,500 paid. I usually like to see a one paid to two organic ratio. This is right within my golden ratio. That tells me so much about the listing. I know that I'm not overspending on ads. I know that I'm not under indexing for keywords because it's got a one to two ratio and it's healthy. I can also click this and look at a historical chart to see is it up or down? Did the brand stop advertising? Did it start advertising? So you can see in October, November, they go crazy with ads, right? That tells me a lot about the listing. And then all the same data that you just showed me, what the keyword rankings are, I never look at that. I only look at this high level chart because and, and then uh, that you probably do have a word frequency chart. So I know that if I was going to add a keyword to this main image, I would add makeup sponge and I'd put it on the main image and then my CTR would go up and my traffic would go up. So it's super easy. This took seconds. So I'll, uh, I'll let you send that back to your team and, and you can, you can say, Hey, how quickly can we build this? Because that's that one tool is the sole reason that I use helium 10. The only reason, because it is so powerful. I think there's a lot of other pressures and things that other tools have and equivalents, um, you know, awesome product research tools exist out there. And I think Jungle Scouts is pretty good. You know, I think they were even first to market before Helium 10 was. Now, to be fair to Jungle Scout, I must give one constructive criticism over to Helium 10. It's my baby, by the way. He's about seven months old. His name is Magnus. Uh, I might have named him after my Amazon guy. Leave that in the comments if you think that's cute. Um, and that is... Helium 10 does not serve agencies well, and that is because they don't show us any metrics inside of Helium 10 for how many uses we have used. So for example, that very tool I was just showing you, if I want to run a Cerebro use and I've hit my 3,000 uses for the day, guess what happens? It just shuts off. It doesn't give me a ticker, it doesn't give me a warning, it just shuts flat out off. So Helium 10 has a super powerful tool, but fails to serve agencies. And then we have to send an email over to our account manager and say, hey, we need more uses for Cerebra. We need more x-rays. We have no idea how many we've used. We have no idea what time it shut off, but we have our current uh, employees unable to use the tool. So if you're watching this, Helium 10, I hope that you take this seriously and that you start serving your customers and giving us the information we need. Because I guarantee you, Jungle Scout in the next couple of months is going to build exactly what I'm talking about in Helium 10. And you know what else they're going to do? They're going to count the uses or they're just going to simply give me unlimited for a flat rate. And when that happens, <laughs> we'll see what happens. All right, guys, I'm trying to help you all as Amazon sellers and other agencies out there. If you found this helpful, slam a like, leave me a comment. Thanks for watching. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. We got about 100 other videos about Helium 10. Check out the playlist here. Thanks for watching.